Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to change video speed using Filmora 9. With Filmora 9, you can make slow motion videos by decreasing the speed of the original clip, or increasing the speed of the clip. Let's me zoom in a part of the timeline. Here are the clips that are slowed down by 40%. The other clips are in normal speed. One thing I've noticed when applying speed change effect in Filmora 9 is the lagging issue appears when play it back. In order to get smooth playback again, don't forget to hit the render button every time you change the speed of your clips. Actually, I always hit the render button after adding any effect into Filmora, not only speed change. Here is the render button if you don't know yet. Once you hit the render button, it will take time to render the timeline. I can fast forward this part to save your time. When finish, you can preview your project much smoother than before. Okay. Let's clean the timeline and show you the basic steps to change video speed in Filmora 9. The first example is a clip of me, shot by my GoPro Hero 7 at 120 frames per second. At this frame rate, I can slow it down to 5 times on my 24 fps timeline to create a very slow video. Again, I need to render the timeline to get smooth playback. It will be very fast because I have only one 7 seconds clip on the timeline. This is normal speed. There are two ways to pull out the speed control window in Filmora 9. The first option is click this little speed control icon. Here you choose different speed options such as slow down by 50%, fast forward 2 times, 4 times or 8 times as well as reset to normal speed. And second option is to right click on the clip and select speed and duration at the drop down menu. At this pop up window, you can type the percentage of the speed you want to reduce or increase at this box. Ripple edit box need to be always checked. Click OK to apply. This is super slow motion clip of me doing nothing at the backyard. If you want to reset to normal speed at a certain position, you can split the clip at the position. Click this drop down arrow, and choose normal speed. Alright, that's all I need to show you in this tutorial. If you have any question, leave your comment below. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in my next videos.